morning everyone how are you i hope you are all well i hope you did something nice for your daddy's last week did you do something nice yeah okay did you take him out for did you take your daddy's out for dinner or for lunch or did you give him breakfast in bed i hope you did something nice okay beautiful beautiful stuff okay today we're gonna finish our story about a lovely boy called jason yourself but before we do so let's enjoy some music and we'll be back before we go you're gonna pray for us please pray for us okay. in jesus name amen father thank you for that it was father's day last week thank you for that we're learning something new into your word today please help us to forgive each other and everyone and let us learn more about your word in Jesus' name. Amen. song okay get your popcorn get your crepes get your yogurt what else did they get the sandwich anything you want to get and let's finish up the story of that beautiful boy called Jason. okay we'll be back make sure you're listening the, the title is Jason forgives just for keeps his brothers his brothers okay see you soon bye the faithful hall of fame joseph This is Joseph. Hey, 
who was the son of Israel and Rachel. But he had 11 brothers who hated him and sold him into slavery. After being put in jail, Joseph told of the future of Egypt when he interpreted Pharaoh's dreams, and Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh made Joseph a leader in his kingdom. Just as Joseph had told the Pharaoh, Egypt had seven years of abundance. Then the seven years of abundance came to an end, and the seven years of famine began, hmm. just as Joseph had said. But the Egyptians had food to eat because Joseph had planned for the famine. There was famine in all the other lands, and many came to Joseph to buy food. There was even a famine in the land that Joseph came from. So when Israel heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent his sons to buy some. Yeah. But Israel did not send Benjamin with the others. Aww because he was afraid that harm might come to him. When Joseph's brothers came to him, Joseph recognized them, <laughs> but he pretended to be a stranger. Uh -huh. So Joseph decided to test his brothers. <clears throat> he had his interpreter tell them to send for Benjamin, who had stayed home. Him. And then he threw his brothers in jail for three days. On the third day, Joseph let all but one of the brothers take grain to their starving households with the instruction to bring Benjamin back. But Joseph provided for his brother's journey and gave them grain and silver. The brothers did exactly as Joseph instructed, as they were scared that God was punishing them for what they had done to Joseph so many years before. They traveled home to their father's house, Yippee! then back to Egypt. Now that he had seen that they brought Benjamin, Joseph was overwhelmed, so he released the brother who was still in prison. But Joseph decided to play one more trick on his brothers. He sent the brothers away but told his servant to hide his silver cup in Benjamin's bag. Then Joseph told the servant to go after the brothers and retrieve the cup. The brothers hadn't traveled far before the servant stopped them and accused them of stealing the cup. Joseph could no longer control himself before his attendants. He made them leave so he could be alone with his brothers, and he told his brothers who he really was. Ta-da! He told them of his life and all he had experienced, and he forgave them for what they had done. God was with Joseph and took care of him and showed him favor. Beautiful, beautiful story. Oh, what did you learn about that story? I learned that we should forgive. Always forgive. Always forgive. Of course, Joseph was not happy. It was hurt when his brothers put him in the pit, when they sold him into Potiphar, into Egypt. But look, now there was no food in the land. They had to eat. And Joseph already made plans for them. They didn't even recognize Joseph. He was the one that recognized him and he tried to pretend a couple of times. He said, where's your father? You get the spices? He said, no. So look at this boy. And they had a dream long time ago that his, his, his brothers were going to bow down to bow down. him. Did they bow down to him in the story? I think so. Yes, they did. Because that it was the it was the moon and stars bowing down to him. And then all of the leaves as well, all of the 12 leaves bowed down to him. And those were all of his brothers. And they were angry of him when he had that dream as a little boy. But now, many years later... Is now the pre the prime minister of Egypt, and when they came to buy food, they had to bow down in honor of the king. We should always forgive, no matter what. Did they God. bow down to Joseph? Yeah, they had to bow, bow down to Joseph. God will always fight for you. Okay. Okay. God will always fight for you. Let's do our memory verse. Mm, let's get it up. Verse Genesis 45 to 14. And he yeah. kissed all of his brothers and wept over them. Afterward, his brothers talked Talk to him. him. 
One, two, three, go. And he kissed, kissed all his brothers and wept over them. Afterward, his brothers talked talk to him. him. Genesis 45, 14. Beautiful story. Mm-hmm. Let us pray. Are you going to pray first? He can pray first. Father, we thank you. Help us to always forgive everyone that offends us. Help us, give us a heart that forgives. Give us a heart, a compassionate heart that forgives everyone around us. Thank you, Father. Give us a nice, beautiful week. In Jesus' name we pray. Mm -hmm. Bye. Have a nice time. See you later.